Hello and welcome. I'm Debbie, and I'm so pleased that you are spending some time with me in your busy schedule. Thank you. So last week, I was looking at the question, why shepherds? Why were shepherds a part of the nativity? Why are they part of the Christmas story? And then today I thought I would look at why angels. So why shepherds, why angels? And angels are integral to the Christmas story and to the nativity itself. So I thought, let's take a look at angels themselves and why they were a part of the birth of Jesus. There are actually several types of angels referenced throughout the Bible. Angels are referenced throughout history and by religions other than Christianity. But within scripture, there are specific types of angels who then have numerous responsibilities with which they are charged. Angels are created beings, having been created by God. And for example, Colossians 1.16 states, For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Angels are spirits who at times take on human form to carry out their tasks. There is a specific hierarchy to angels, along with their specific responsibilities and roles. These tasks and responsibilities include protecting us, which is referenced in both the Old and New Testaments, such as in Psalm 91 and in Hebrews 1.14. Carrying out plans, which include judgments, patrolling the earth, glorifying God, and other responsibilities. I wondered how many times angels are mentioned in both the Old and New Testaments of the Bible. And I wasn't going to spend the time, I apologize, to go through and count them for myself. So I looked at several sources which all seem to have different numbers, but all identified approximately 300 times in which angels are referenced throughout the Bible. Many people, including myself, believe in angels. I believe they exist, while many others deny that they exist. One thing that is clear, but which contradicts what some people may believe, is that humans are I'm sorry, angels are not human. Humans are not angels. Angels are not human. Humans are a separate category of creation. And even though it may provide some comfort when one references that someone who died is now an angel in heaven, that just isn't found anywhere in scripture. But what I do find to be comforting is that our loved ones who have died are in heaven along with the angels and that there are angels who comfort us in our grief along with the Holy Spirit. There are also fallen angels, those who went against God and have been expelled from heaven. And this includes Lucifer, who we often believe, of, and it's more an implication than being explicit, that Lucifer is Satan. And he was perhaps the most beautiful and intelligent of all angels. Ezekiel 28 describes him in terms of beauty, with colors of beautiful gemstones emanating from his being. But then Isaiah 14 describes the fall of Lucifer and his followers when he desired to be God. But perhaps the role of angels with which we might be most familiar is that of angels as messengers. And most notably, the archangels, Michael and Gabriel, who are identified by name. All of this gets me back to my original question. Why angels? Angels were used to bring God's direct and specific message about Jesus' birth to individuals as well as to groups. Angels played very specific and crucial roles in the story of Jesus' birth. First appearance related to this was when an angel appeared to Zechariah in Luke 1. Zechariah was the father of John the Baptist who would Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth were old. So when the angel told him that John would be born to them, Zechariah kind of scoffed and did not believe him. The next appearance was to Mary, who was told that she would give birth. 
After which an angel appeared to Joseph, who was supposed to marry Mary, in order to encourage him to still marry her, even though she was pregnant. And this is recorded in Matthew 1.20. And then there was the appearance of an angel to the shepherds who were in the fields tending their flocks and who would go on to visit the infant Jesus. This was the visitation in which a host or group of angels then appeared and praised God, declaring, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. So angels were sent as messengers in order to prepare those immediately involved in the birth of Jesus to those who would go to visit Jesus. And for us, for whom Jesus was born, crucified, and resurrected in order to provide redemption and salvation. As for the wise men, there is no recorded evidence of angels appearing to them, but rather that as they were scientists, astronomers, they studied the changes in the stars, in the heavens, which led them to visit the young child, Jesus. They were not at the birth of Jesus, even though our nativity sets include them, but they played a very important role in the life of young Jesus and the young family. If you are interested in reading about the birth of Christ, the early chapters of Matthew and Luke record the events surrounding his birth, and each book has specific information that the other does not include. For a visual retelling, I happened upon the fact that Dr. David Jeremiah has started a film presentation of the Nativity that he has titled, Why the Nativity, which is being featured in segments on his weekly TV show. I did not name my episodes um, after his title of Why the Nativity. I actually just asked the questions on my own. Why shepherds and why angels? So there's not a connection to his series on Why the Nativity. Shepherds, wise men, angels, all had a role in the telling of the Nativity. Remember, this is from laborers in the fields, educated elites in the east, and heavenly beings from heavens all had a place in the birth of Jesus. Songs have been written about them. Artwork throughout the centuries has been created that represent them, and the Bible and other books feature them. They are all a part of the glorious story of the Nativity, and that is why God used angels as messengers regarding the of his son. I have several books of medieval and Renaissance art that feature the angels, the wise men, the shepherds. And so I just wanted to give a quick view of one of these artworks. And so with that, I do hope you have much joy this Christmas season. I do hope that you have many blessings in your life. But if you are still struggling, if you still feel alone and feel despair, please remember that there are those who love you both on earth as well as in heaven. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.